Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, so we're back at Danny's house for the ponds. Our water is not so clear. What happened here is I filled it up. I put in the wood, <laughs> I put in the rocks, I put in the plants, and I let it be. And now it is what I lovingly call tea soup. Well, now it's perfect. <laughs> we got... Uh, it's, uh, it's very thick. <laughs> What, your cereal? <laughs> <laughs> My assistant brought me cereal. Hold on. I'll do, I, I, I quiet on the set, Beth. You didn't say you were guilty. <laughs> Start that over again. <laughs> we have tremendous roots, which are, are now replacing some of our spawning mops up at the top. And since Bob brought us some quarries today to throw in the bottom, I think we're going to try and weight some down for the bottom. Yep and let this kind of stuff be the, the, the top. But I need to do a water change. I will probably add in some buffering elements, but I just kind of let it let it sit. So everything's pretty good to go nature-wise. Well, let's grab that bucket and put them in. You want me to do it? Yep, so I can film it. Are we just, are we just dumping it in? Well, like slowly. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> so just toss it in. Normal task, then you have to do it on camera. So this is a mix of, you know, my water and we've been slowly adding pond water into it. The ponds got up to, they've been fluctuating high 60s, low 70s over the last week, but we just really haven't had a lot of sun until the last couple days. And we're supposed to have a lot of sun coming. Yeah. Come on, guys. <coughs> All right, I'm going to start tipping a little. There they are. Run free. They kind of look like tadpoles. Yeah, tadpoles would be good with them for a while. They wouldn't bug each other. That might be all of them. Yep. That's it. So I have 50 more of these at home, so... A, oh, a preview. Yeah, so if these survive and do well over the next week, then next weekend I can come back and bring the other 40 yeah. or 50. I don't know how many. I have, I have a lot. And now that we're getting some sunshine, I feel comfortable adding uh, the guppies, the two guppies that we have. And yeah, let's take a look at the other. Yeah, I've already released a couple of some of the species that can handle the colder temperature since we've had so much rain. Yeah, that's why it's all flooded down here, right? <laughs> <laughs> or the absent-minded gardener, one of the two. <laughs> we won't tell. Um, I have the white cloud mountain minnows in here with the red cherry shrimp. And I think these were super reds. We are, I don't know, they were pre-fire. They were as the kids like to say. sold as super red, but I call them all red. They're all red. And I was actually, I have not seen them until right before Bob oh, got here's here. here's the minnows. So I was so stoked. But yeah, the minnows have been great. Love and life. Have you seen any fry from the minnows? Not yet, but I have seen some flashing um, in that area over there by the plant. You'll see them kind of pop up every now and again, and they run around with each other. But they were doing a lot of that in their tank. I mean, they were in their tank in the fish tent area for, gosh, about two months, waiting on weather at least. So. Which you've also changed a lot in there, huh? Yes, <laughs> lots in there. <laughs> and in here we still have to add, this will be for one of the two guppies, but I did add orange shrimp in here somewhere. I still haven't seen them yet but Bob was gonna use his GoPro and get down in there and, and hopefully give us the, uh, the go ahead that things are doing well. But I'm encouraged by the minnows and the red cherries. We had some dieback on the pond plants cause some of the, um, those uh, lilies were annuals and then the creeping plants here are doing awesome. So, and then there's one more tub. One more tub has nothing in it yet but lots and lots and lots of cover. I kind of joked that we don't need any any tops for these because between all the plants and the algae and the mops and the, the wood <laughs> it's quite the jungle on top but uh, I mean this looks like a fish paradise right here. Yeah hopefully everything's been kind of copacetic in this area um, and I'm going to be bringing the pandas out here it's warm enough um, maybe this one. The panda guppies. Panda guppies, yes. No, my, my, my panda bears from the backyard. Um, I'll be bringing the panda guppies out here. I just couldn't catch them. So, <laughs> till another time. <laughs> till another time. 
Well, this was pretty uh, anticlimactic because I don't think we're going to see it. I had the same thing happen when I, I added some gorgeous neon rosy barbs in with the, the koi and the goldfish in the goldfish pond and immediately never saw them again for about a week. So now it takes a little bit of food to bring them out, but they're living life down there. So that's, and they're happy. That's the important part. I might bring some rainbows up for you. Yeah. To throw in here. Whenever you're ready. Hmm. I'll work on the water change. It does have holes in the back. I mean, we've been getting a ton of rain. So, I mean, these were filled up two, three, gosh, I don't even know now, four months ago. And there's holes drilled right back behind the sponges where water has just been draining out on a constant thanks to our lovely weather. So I'm not Well, the algae bloom is better for what we want anyways. Yeah. For breeding. Perfect. Bonuses all around. And we have lots of little bugs already everywhere we found some cool new bugs oh right here some of those little guys they kind of look like little isopods and then lots of mosquitoes so hopefully the fish get in here fast before they <laughs> <laughs> they go anywhere and then i have another tub to set up and i need to move what will someday be a sump for a very large tank um and drain it it looks kind of unsightly right now and needs some fixing but it's full of little tiny tadpoles so i think i'm gonna add them to the big pond and i think bob might take some so he brought up a good point when he mentioned the algae bloom so i've been studying and studying and studying and reading and watching videos and listening uh over the last couple months but until you really implement it kind of reminded me now that they're in here what do we do is it just like in the aquariums like because i've got that down pat and i'm still kind of learning the flow with the pond so food wise obviously we're going to do the weekly water changes just like i would inside especially as it's no longer you know raining as frequently um what do they need so as far as i would go as far as what i would do to breed, yeah i would treat this exactly like an aquarium actually minus the water changes that would be depend on the weather okay if you go all week with sun then i would do a water change but if it's raining and you know you got the holes back there so it's Right. You know, essentially like an auto water changer. Yeah. So I wouldn't worry about that. For this, we have quarries in here. Uh, I know there's lots of bugs, but I would still feed pellets mm -hmm. that sink to the bottom. Got lots of that. Because I don't think I've ever seen a quarry come to the surface to take no. bugs. No. Only, only to breathe. Right. And then, yeah, they've got, uh, there's been lots of algae growth all along the rocks and the undersides of the woods. And I, I kind of pulled some stuff out and, and looked. But... I, I do want to make sure that they're getting a well-balanced diet and I'm supplementing, you know, in terms of should we be feeding daily? Obviously, the more food, the better in terms of breeding in the aquariums. Uh, if you fed daily, I would just watch the water parameters, okay. specifically nitrate. Yeah. Uh, even though this is outside, you know, if it doesn't rain, eventually we're going to have a lot of fish in here. Right. With the 10 fish that are in there now, I wouldn't even worry about it at all. It but I would still like drop in frozen food like once a week. Or... I do lots of blood worms, lots of brine shrimp. I do the, the spirulina brine shrimp cubes, but with all the algae in here, maybe I'll stick with the blood worms and the brines for now. But yeah, as far as like a general rule of thumb, exactly like an aquarium. Okay. And the thing that they do that I don't like is, well, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but they always have like aquarium stuff and then they have pond stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's always the exact same stuff, one just says pond on it. Right. So. Yeah. I, I notice a big difference in between the, the ponds and the aquariums with my, you know, the transition I made with the goldfish and the koi uh, in terms of, of plants. But yeah, um, a lot of the parameters remain the same. And elements since I started adding all the, the live and natural real stuff. Yeah, and actually the one thing we still got to do in here is the aragonite. Yes to help buffer the water. I finally was able to kind of go out and stock up on a few items. I was kind of waiting on the, the quarantine um, to relief on. So I, I, I got a lot of um, spider wood and some aragonite, some sand, some eco-complete. So stuff to kind of help buffer and especially sand for quarries. It's a smooth bottom, but they like it. So why not? So I've been thinking about, cause you've been looking at rads a lot lately, mm -hmm. which is rainbow fish, yeah, I know. people that don't know. Aquavit is a dangerous place. <laughs> I dangerous. might bring up my colony of rads to put in here. Ooh, 
which which one, remind me which ones you've got i have siri creek i have evan's head and another one that i don't remember but i, I have three different strains i've really been loving the I, know. Creek. I know you want the tea i want the tea of bad. course they're the most expensive <laughs> ones not champagne taste of fish but <laughs> I'll show you what my Siri Creek look like. No, I'm excited. And they're amazing. I, you know, I don't need to go for the champagne of a fish, especially if I'm branching into a new species. You know, you give them good water and good habitats and lots of food and the right love. They, any fish can do well under certain circumstances, but it's good to, to get to know them. I do like how we're talking about how it's finally warm enough and you're in a beanie <laughs> and a vest and... Pacific Northwest <laughs> summer attire. You look like it's snowing out. I mean, it was raining literally hours ago, <laughs> and I just haven't, you know. Yeah, so we, well, we measured this. It's a 71. 71. Uh, I don't think I mentioned the type of quarries is the peppered corridora, so they can go down to like 62. Yes. So I mean, we should be good. We've got 50 total. I've got lots of different quarries, but we're going to keep just to the peppers um, and peppered, excuse me. And yeah, we've got 10 in here and about 40 more to go. Yep. So easing it in you know we don't know what the weather is going to be you know obviously from one minute to another so this is a tap tap it in <laughs> this is the first year of both of us really doing this yeah i did this last year but kind of haphazardly it, it can look pretty and it can you know but you, you never know until the fish are in it and that's really going to be the telltale sign if it's a healthy well, environment they all look pretty good too i mean this whole area coming to life and my phone is blowing up <laughs> yep <laughs> what else that's, do are we covering that's pretty much it but i want to know are you going to give us a sneak peek of your super secret project i we probably should like it because you know all my film is never going to make it to the big screen <laughs> still, apparently still waiting for your youtube channel hey i have been working very hard i have been setting up tanks i have been buying more tubs yeah tubs everywhere i think on the very first video i mentioned how we are just out of space in the fish tent despite how lovely and quaint and cute it is so i was able to do some very mm -hmm. interesting trades with negotiating my husband. <laughs> negotiative <laughs> trades and i this was once upon a time my she shed believe it or not and had all sorts of my fun unique little hobbies pre-fish um, i did raise chickens in there though and it is now going to be my fish shed so i'm upgrading uh -oh. from the tent to the shed we um i'll show you yes yeah and, and this is pretty big this is a huge upgrade yeah this is a it's an, a 20 by 12 I mean, it might, sorry, it might be a little bit loud. We are having some people over, some social distance barbecuing outside. But um, this is a 20 by 12, and it's been here since we bought the property about six years ago, and it's been definitely a multifunction. Like I said, it was a she shed. It's been storage. Can we look inside? Yes. Um, we had to make some improvements before it can ever hold fish, so I'm working through that with the help of my husband, some friends, and my wonderful uncle. Shout out to Steve. It needed new doors desperately, so we framed in some new doors, and oh it needed gosh. a little bit of light. There's still some stuff in here because rain, but um, built a sink, and we're going to run some lines. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of noise. Always noise. Um, but yeah, so we've got about inside dimensions about 19 and a half by 11 and a half to work with. And I'm going to do, just imagine above the clutter and the mess, this is going to be a black wall. And it's going to, I'm going to do cinder block. I actually do four by four. So four by four cinder block racks to the ceiling for the tanks. I'll have a rack of 20s here. There's going to be some beta and throw out racks mounted to the wall here. Because you're going to be breeding? Because I've obviously got some fish out there <laughs> doing their thing. <laughs> and this corner, you know, they say when you're going to build a fish room or any space to, to go for your biggest dream. So a down the road, right now it's, it's going to be just a starter, but down the road, I would really like to make this a living wall down to a pond and I kind of have lots of ideas around that between all my house plants and working with some of the terrestrial plants in the aquariums and then 
getting a nice pond built in here. So we'll have sink, some storage in the corner for all the buckets and random stuff that comes along. I'll, just like in your house, do my dishes, <laughs> my fish dishes right here, but at least now I have a view because this was just a solid wall. And I have four skylights to put in, so I want to really play off some natural light. Um, done a little bit of insulating to help hold the heat, and I'm going to heat the room with a wall-mounted infrared heater. So, got to run a little bit more electrical to house all of the things. Finally got a central air pump, <laughs> and I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so lots to do in here still, obviously. It'll be, I'm gonna paint everything white. I gotta sand all this OSB down, but then paint it white, paint the ceiling white, and then this will be a black wall. And yeah, once we get electrical and water and all that jazz, we can start bringing in some fish. Well, there's our sneak peek. <laughs> big, big sneak peek, but I know. This yeah. is amazing, I can't wait. I am super excited. That was a major score. My husband wanted his gym back and I was like, well, can I get my she shed back? And he would immediate yes, so I'm on it. It's like, uh, yeah, get the tent out of the garage. Yes. <laughs> so now my, my tent can go back to growing vegetables and housing plants and maybe some, some fish. But for now, I look forward to bringing this space to life and having more room to work with for some bigger tanks. And they should subscribe to your channel to see updates, even though you don't make videos. Yeah. They should really subscribe <laughs> to your channel to see yeah. updates on my videos. There we go. Fish there room. we go. That's what I want to subscribe no. to the channel. Danny does life. Uh, that's my, if you really want to see, you go yes. on Instagram. Danny does life. That's my, my, yeah. Instagram is where I hang out the most stories, man. 15 second clips. You could be out here hanging out with me while I'm doing it. Exactly. <laughs> when I'm not, you know, <laughs> well, that's going to do it for this video. Yes. Thanks for coming out. And yeah, let's go finish up hanging with the fishies. Yep. Bye, guys.